I excited for today? It's not because I'm actually doing anything special. I'm actually, I don't have that much going on today. The two things, the two reasons I'm excited for today is because reason number one, we're about to hit 20,000 subscribers probably in the next hour or so. So I'm freaking stoked for that. That is amazing. The other reason I'm excited for today is I'm getting my camera in the Canon 80D is due to ship in um, sometime in the next couple of hours. So I'm really excited for that. And I just want to, I just want to vlog today because I'm super excited. Don't have a lot going on. It's really just an admin day for me. I'm basically going to be getting some homework done. I'm going to be making some more YouTube videos for you guys next week. And I'm currently not really going anywhere special. I'm just going uh, out to eat right now. I'm going to go get some, get some Chipotle. All right, so now that I'm back from Chipotle, I'm gonna share with you guys an awesome secret that one of my friends told me one time about Chipotle. Uh, shout out to you, Cynthia, for telling me this. This has freaking saved me a lot. But that is, if you happen to get burritos whenever you go to Chipotle, you should be getting a bowl. Now, why would you get a bowl when you go to Chipotle? It's because you can get extra tortillas on the side. I don't know if I'm the only person in the world who didn't know that, but it is just, it's amazing. Two tortillas, one bowl equals two burritos, which is crazy. Like these burritos are really not much smaller than a normal burrito. And it's basically the same price. So it's like you're getting two for one here, uh, just because you're willing to wrap it yourself. So just a little tip for you guys. If you ever go to Chipotle, get a bowl, get extra tortillas, bam. Now, I know I'm not the best burrito wrapper in the world, but I mean, look at that. This is basically a regular, almost a regular sized burrito, and I literally have half of it left. So this will go with my second burrito, and it is just a way better deal to go to Chipotle and do it this way. Guys, it is freaking here. Oh my gosh. I was literally, I was literally just about to go outside and go for a run uh, and get ready for that. And then I got a knock on the door, and what do you know? And here we are in my little unboxing angle that I like to do with you guys. I am, I am so excited right now to open this thing up. Uh, the reason being I'm so excited is because I actually ordered this a while back. So basically when I did this vlog, but then it comes to find out it, it wasn't shipped yet. I didn't get an email confirmation and I called and was like, what the heck is going on? Turns out they didn't have it in stock whenever I ordered it, so they had to then themselves order it, get it, ship it to me. Oh my gosh, so it's been a long time coming. But it is here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Almost dropped it, but here's the lens. Oh man, this is battery, charger, and strap. Oh, look at it. Oh my gosh. I mean, God, I can't even, I can't even believe this right now. Like, did I really, did I really get this? And I'm gonna have to put the lens on? Like, that is gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh, this is unreal right now. How do you hold a camera? Like, really, how, how do you hold a camera? Like, do I hold it like this whenever I got the lens on? And I don't know. One of the reasons I'm so excited to get this is not only because it has just been so long, but I actually got the, the microphone in, so I got this Rode mic. I bought this off of Amazon. I bought the lens off of Amazon. This is a pretty nice lens. Um, obviously, I've never used it yet, but it was expensive, so I'm assuming it's gonna be nice, and I read the reviews and all that. But, uh, so I've had those here for a while. Because I bought them off of Amazon, it was two to free two-day shipping. This took like two weeks to get here. I bought this from the Canon website refurbished so it was a lot cheaper um but like that just goes to show you like why amazon is just so freaking amazing i bought that two days later it's at my door i bought this from canon two weeks later it's at my door and i had to kind of fight for them to give me free two day shipping because of the hold up uh it would have been three to seven days so i might not have got this until next week let's put this on oh oh my gosh just look at this puppy. Compared to what I had before, you guys will see what I had before, but oh my gosh. So here it is, the new camera setup for this channel. I'm super excited. The Canon 80D Rode microphone. Gosh, I'm excited to use this. The only downside, the only downside to my excitement right now 
is I forgot to get a battery for the mic. Ah. So the next scene is going to be with the new and beautiful Canon 80D camera with the audio coming from this Rode microphone. So listen to the audio change here in a second in three, two, one. So here it is, the new Canon 80D video. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that this is better than before. I know the audio is definitely gonna be better because if you guys were curious what I was using before, it was this Canon G7X. Um, Mark II and the mic was a like camera internal mic so I couldn't have an external microphone like this so I'm sure the audio is going to be better I'm hoping the video should be just a little bit better the real reason I got this is not only for the the uh, the video improvement but really just the microphone improvement because that's going to be a big difference especially for my videos when it's really just kind of a lot audio stuff the camera quality should be good and this will be a nice little improvement but at the end of the day i know i'm going to make some tweaks and changes and stuff to the settings right now currently i haven't made any changes at all but pretty much everything is on auto i believe uh, there's so many settings and so much stuff to go through so i'm going to be spending some time today trying to learn some things about this camera and actually learn how to get some optimal settings so there should be some improvements later on in the future you know audibly visually but overall i am just like super duper excited for this all right so something that i'd like to do on this vlog today is go through and answer some of your questions on social media whether it's instagram or snapchat i get a lot of questions every day from you guys and i figure maybe it could be a normal thing where i spend two or three minutes go through and answer some of your questions on video as well as obviously through your through the messages because I know not everybody sees my vlogs but maybe this could be an incentive for you guys to watch so I can actually talk directly to you. I do want to say however that now that I've been getting so many more messages than I really thought I was ever going to get but because I get so many probably like 50 or 60 messages a day it is probably in your best interest for you guys to stop asking me a question the second message you send me. So if you send me a message on Instagram or Snapchat, you should send me the question that you want to ask me just right then rather than asking me if you ha can ask me a question, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times I go through these messages, I might not go through them all within a couple of days now. So if you ask me a question and your question is, can I ask you a question? I might not get back to that for another day or two because it just goes to the bottom of the list because I just go from the oldest to the newest. So here's a pretty simple one. When you graduate from basic training, what happens to your rifle that you were issued? Well, you turn it back in. A lot of people don't realize that whenever you get to basic training, they're going to issue you some gear. You're not actually going to get to keep all of that gear. You're only going to get to keep the gear that you were issued at reception. At basic training, your rifle, your rucksack, all of the stuff that you're issued at basic training, you're going to turn back in, and that includes your rifle. Some people think that you get your rifle at basic training and you keep that with you throughout your entire Army career. That is definitely not what happens, for sure. Wherever you go, when you get to a new unit, you will probably get assigned a weapon that is going to be yours, but it's obviously going to be the units. You're just going to use it. So this one is a pretty interesting question slash statement. So basically the question is, I heard cough drops are 10 to $20 per half a pound bag. And he's basically asking if he should bring some cough drops so that he could sell them at basic training. You can't have cough drops at basic training. At least currently you can't. The only way that you're going to be able to have cough drops is you do get sick. You go to sick call and they give you like a prescription or something to get cough drops. When you go to basic training, you're going to have a chance to go into a PX and you might ask your drill sergeant, be like, hey, I need cough drops. My throat hurts real bad. Because when you get to basic, you're more than likely going to get sick. Like 95% of people are going to get some kind of sickness, whether it's a sore throat, you know, pink eye, or just you're just something. You're going to have a runny nose. Most people are going to get sick at basic training. And therefore, cough drops are just like amazing. So if anybody's ever like issued or uh, got a prescription for cough drops because they went to sick call, you know, they might get a couple extras of them and then they can sell them for like a couple of dollars a cough drop. So you cannot just bring cough drops and candy or any kind of medicine and stuff too basic. You're going to have to throw that away at reception. So don't bother bringing anything extra. Again, don't bring anything extra to basic training. That's the moral of the story here. Just bring your toothbrush, your clothes, just the bare minimum basics as if you're going somewhere for just like a one night little vacation because you're going to get issued everything that you need at basic. And so the final question I think I'm going to ask here is, 
do I think sit-ups or planks are better or more effective for getting abs? And basically I replied back, neither, because both of these ab exercises are not really going to be exercises that are going to build up your abs. If you're doing sit-ups the way that the Army does sit-ups, you're gonna be working your hip flexors a lot, you're gonna be working your legs. Your, uh, your core isn't going to be built up a whole lot to actually build up those ab muscles, right? When you're doing planks, that's really just kind of strengthening and tightening your abs just a little bit. It's not really doing anything to actually build up your ab muscles. It's more just so of toning your abs. So that's going to be it for the Q&A portion of this video. I just went through and selected some pretty easy topics to, I guess, cover in this video. I know now personally for me, I'm about to go for a run because I was going to run earlier and then obviously I got this camera, so I just got to do that. And then I think I'm going to spend some time looking at some camera settings. So maybe the next time you see me on this camera, the quality is going to be a little better. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day. I got some good news and some bad news for you guys. The good news is I just got done working out a little while ago. It was a great workout. I am currently editing the vlog for today, actually, because I was just wanting to see how the video quality is. So that's the good news, which means the vlog for this is going to be up soon for you guys, which you guys don't really care because when it's up, you are going to see it. It's going to be up. The bad news is, is I'm going to finish off today's vlog, basically because I want to get this done. I got some other things I got to do, and yeah, it's basically, it's it's nighttime out. So you can see I'm using these lights uh, for the light because it's, it's dark. But as I've been editing, I've noticed that definitely the audio is a huge improvement. I got to play around with the settings because I have it set very, very low because I was looking up some stuff on the audio. So you might have to turn the volume up a little bit for this video. It might be a little bit too late because it's the end of this video, but you might notice that it's not as loud as normal. So that could be the reason why I got to play around with the audio settings. Still haven't played with the video settings. So the video, the video quality is maybe just a little bit better. I, again, I got to mess with the settings and figure things out. I had to do the same thing with the Canon G7X because that video or that camera, I've adjusted it to be optimal for what I use it for. Haven't adjusted anything on here, so it's all set to audio. So whenever I go through and actually spend the time to learn certain things and, and make certain tweaks, it should get better. But that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanna thank you guys a lot, like so, 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 so freaking much if you made it to the end of this video. I wanna thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. It's, that's just, it's just freaking amazing that we hit 20,000 subscribers today. So thank you guys so much for that. I hope you guys have an amazing and a great day, and I'll see you guys later. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean, no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, because they part of the team. I do this for all the naysayers and haters.